prayer. Prayer is talking to God and meditation is listening to God. But what does talking to God look like? I will never forget the emotional reaction that came from a moment of prayer. I was the VP of marketing for a company that was in severe trouble. There were two other people in my department and it was also a Christian owned company. We were so stressed one day that I called my two coworkers together to pray. We sat in a circle and I prayed first and then Calvin, who was also a preacher, prayed after me. I felt my other coworker leave the room and could tell that she was crying. And when she returned, I asked if she was okay. She had gotten up to get a tissue and she said yes, but she was so moved because she had never heard anyone pray like that before. She was used to recited prayers like the Lord's Prayer and others like it. When I prayed in the past, I wasn't always talking to God, I was more talking at God. My prayer would open with a dear Heavenly Father, followed by asking for forgiveness, and then followed by a laundry list of requests. And I'd wrap it all up with an in Jesus name, Amen. I certainly wouldn't talk to my husband that way or talk to a friend like that. It wasn't conversational. But that all changed one day after my pastor gave a sermon on prayer. And what I took from that sermon, which I find fascinating because I do have a copy of it and he didn't say this in the copy, but what I took from that is that prayer is talking to God just like I'm talking to you right now. It's like the light bulb went off and I went, you mean I can just talk to God? My prayer life changed and my relationship with God deepened. In the introduction video, I quoted the Apostle Paul to pray without ceasing. Prayer is so much more than just talking to God. Expressing thankfulness and gratitude is a prayer. Being mindful of God's presence in nature is a prayer. Our time together is a prayer. Then there is the prayer of talking to God. My pastor's sermon was called The Secret to Successful Prayer. I wanted to share some highlights with you since that sermon was so transformational for me. And prior to the Lord's Prayer in the book of Matthew, Jesus says to pray to God in secret, not in public or in a showy manner. But in Luke, after he teaches the disciples how to pray, he explains that the key to praying is persistence. In the introduction video, I mentioned these spiritual practices are to be practiced. To do anything well takes persistence and practice. The example of persistence that Jesus gives is the next door neighbor. He has a visitor and he has no food and he knocks on the door in the middle of the night to ask for bread. Hospitality was a top priority in that culture. And also the people in that time lived close together, even in one room, the people and the animals. So when the door was closed for the night, it was closed. Any disturbance would wake up the entire household. The neighbor knocks and is, t and is told to go away, but he keeps knocking. The door opens and he receives his bread, not out of friendship, not at that hour, because, but because of persistence. And Jesus says, ask and it will be given, search and you will find, knock and the door will be opened unto you. Here is a 10 step guide that you can use for prayer. Number one, set aside 15 minutes in a location where there is little likelihood of interruption. Number two, give God thanks for three personal blessings. This helps move toward God by moving away 
from your own self-sufficiency. Number three, to move away from self-centeredness, ask God to help three other people. Number four, ask God to forgive your sins and to give you strength to forgive others. Number five, ask God to help one person whom you find hard to like. Ask God to give that person insights into his or her personal problems and for the power of God's love to flow through you to that person. Number six, ask that you will be sensitive to the needs of one person today. Number seven, ask for insights into your own personal struggles. Number eight, ask for help in achieving your personal goals. Number nine, ask God to tell you the most important thing you need to do today to seek first his kingdom. And number 10, conclude by listening intently for three minutes to what God may say to you. And on this listening part, as I mentioned before, that I said that prayer is talking to God and meditation is listening to God, we're going to go on to our next spiritual practice, which is meditation. <laughs> 